Hi Libra and welcome to your reading for today. This is going to be a general energy reading for you. We're going to see what you need to know, what you need to be aware of. Take the messages that resonate guys. This can be past, present or future. Roles can be reversed. Okay. So let's see here Libra. What do Libras need to know at this time? Holy angels and the divine spirits. What does Libra need to know at this time? What's happening here with Libra? Let's see. The Emperor. And the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay. All right. So we have the Emperor coming out first. Aries energy. We have the Queen of Swords. There you are. And then we have the Page of Cups. Okay, so you could be seen right now as being in control. Um, the Page of Cups. This could have something to do with an offer or maybe even just being seen as an innocent energy, okay? Or it has something to do with good news. Maybe you're receiving some sort of, a, some sort of good news here. Hmm. For some reason, I want other cards. For some reason, I want these. Okay, let's see. Why is the Ember here for Libra? The Hierophant, the Page of Swords, the Nine of Swords and the Hierophant, okay. So maybe someone here, I mean, the Emperor and the Hierophant, that usually speaks to me that this is someone that has some form of authority position, okay? This could be someone in authority, someone here, or this is how you're being seen, okay? Maybe you're being seen as someone that has a significant title or some sort of ranking, okay? Someone could be very worried about this. Page of Swords. I feel like this is a watcher. I feel like this is, it's either some sort of information coming in or it's somebody that's watching someone. Watching you. Why is the Queen of Swords here? The King of Swords. The Seven of Wands. Okay, this is all about speaking the truth. The Eight of Wands. So you could be standing up for yourself right now. You could be defending yourself, taking action towards this. With the Queen and King of Swords like this, it's like this is somebody speaking on truth, standing on facts, okay? Approaching something very logically and rationally. But you could also be defending yourself. Sometimes that comes across as being very cold or, you know, um, let's just say diplomatic. Okay, what's the page of cups? The knight of swords. Yeah, there's definitely communication here. Truth. Page of swords, knight of swords, king of swords, queen of swords. A lot of truth coming in. The Queen of Wands, when it comes to a Queen of Wands energy or and a Queen of Coins in reverse. Okay, so there's something here about a Queen of Wands, a Queen of Pentacles maybe, or someone that is very um, greedy, materialistic, very shallow, vain, would do anything for money. They could be financially unstable. more about this emperor please the five of wands the tower Ooh, wow okay so there is something and how interesting is that because i swear in gemini reading just now the tower came out with the emperor as well so there is something happening right now in regards to an emperor that is bringing in absolute destruction here something catastrophic a huge change that someone didn't see coming. Judgment. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it's Judgment Day. This, The tower and judgment next to each other, for me, that is the reckoning. The reckoning is here, okay? 
This is this is judgment, definitely. And it's like shocking, shocking judgment. Who is this emperor? The gift in a gift in reverse. <clears throat> what is the tower in judgment? A pathway. Someone did not receive a gift on a pathway on their on their path in a relationship. Someone did not give a gift to someone in a relationship. Someone did not give someone something in a relationship. A lover. What? What do you mean gift in reverse? Nine of Wands. What is gift in reverse? Five of Cups. Somebody being sad, upset, grieving because of a gift. Four of Wands because of something in a home or something happening in a in a home or something to do with stability or a union, a community. What is this? What is gift in reverse? Stability and security. So somebody did not give someone a gift of stability and security or permanence in a relationship. Huh? What does that have to do with someone being sad? What is this five of cups? A mature woman. A mature woman claimed that someone is sad. Claimed that someone was sad and grieving because they didn't receive the gift of something being permanent. In a home, a house. Someone claimed that someone was sad. This mature woman said someone is sad and grieving because they didn't receive the gift of stability in a courtship. Okay, why did she say that? <laughs> I'm missing something here. Why would she say that? Why is somebody claiming that someone was sad about this? Four of coins, because someone here wanted stability and security. In a relationship, okay. So a mature woman told the emperor that somebody here wanted some sort of stability and security from a relationship, from a courtship. But someone, but then she said somebody didn't get this and then they were sad. Okay, what's the point of saying this? I'm still missing it. It has something to do with money or somebody's independence or somebody being somebody being financially stable Res giving something giving somebody some money for a new beginning or wanting some sort of equal give and take in a relationship the star what am I missing here? Yeah, okay, okay. It has something to do with this illusion that they created with this Queen of Wands. Right, so they created this illusion with this Queen of Wands that you are in some sort of lack or poverty or you feel abandoned and left out in the cold or you're lacking finances and you're struggling. And a mature woman told this emperor that you are sad and upset that 
somebody is not giving you the gift of stability in this relationship or that you don't feel like this relationship is offering you some sort of stability okay all right so you know i don't know why this mature woman feels like she has the right to say these things about you but she did apparently so what's the tower in judgment a privileged lady now the reckoning is here for a privileged lady because the, because of someone's expectations with an official person. So this mature woman went to this emperor with some sort of an expectation. And that's why she said all these things, okay? So tell me more about this um, tower and judgment, please. Strength in reverse. This is for their own ego. They did this out of ego. Four of Cups. She, this queen, this mature woman said that someone was sad and felt rejected. Okay. Now, why is the page of swords here? A page of wands. This has to do with the three of cups in reverse. This has to do with a third party narrative. The three of wands and strength, it comes out again. And some sort of a plan that they had or a plan to dominate the situation, strength, some sort of a message or somebody, or wait a minute, you're saying that this mature woman came to the emperor with information. Have faith, love is coming, a surprise invitation or meeting. Okay, so you're telling me this mature woman wanted to have a surprise meeting with the emperor and wanted to speak to the emperor and claim to have some sort of information. Yeah, this was her hand of cards. Okay, so this is how she decided to be strategic. She took a chance, she was gambling, but she was not showing her real hand. Okay, because that's kind of what it's giving me. So this mature woman comes to the emperor, says, knock, 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 emperor. I have something I need to tell you. Someone here is sad that they're not receiving stability in their relationship. And there's a third party involved. What's the three of cups in reverse? Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Fear of intimacy in reverse, claiming some sort of information about a third a third party. That's what it's giving me. Tell me more about this three of cups in reverse, three of swords in reverse, queen of swords in reverse. So she lied. No, she said this mature woman claimed that somebody grew bitter and that somebody was very bitter and hurt over a third party or somebody wanting to heal something with someone else and that, that this made someone very bitter and spiteful. Okay, so what is this with this plan? Three of Wands, the Tower. The Nine of Cups, that somebody was planning something with overindulgence. The Moon and the Four of Swords and the Knight of Cups. What? Hold on a second. What's the Three of Wands? The, a family room because somebody was planning their future with a family mature man
No, I feel like it's somebody in your family, this mature woman that went to this emperor, this mature man, and told this mature man something about a, a future plan or... Or that you are you have grown bitter and spiteful because of a third party and that you're sad and upset that someone doesn't want to give you stability okay what's the nine of swords the emperor yeah okay the ace of coins This is what this mature woman told this emperor. Something about you being anxious or you having a lot of anxiety, you having a lot of worry, you being very bitter and depressed, maybe even dealing with anxiety. The star in reverse that you can't heal. Something about you not being able to heal, you not um, feeling like you have a, a, a you don't have hope. Like this is like be feeling hopeless when it comes to a family situation. So they, so this mature woman told this emperor that you're depressed. Basically, you're depressed, you're anxious, you're um, up in your head a lot, you're very stressed out, you feel hopeless, you feel sad and bitter and hurt because of a relationship not being stable. Interesting. Uh-huh. Okay, so why is the Hierophant here? The Empress. Yeah, this could be your mother, the Hank Man. This could be someone's mother that went to a Hierophant. Who is this Hierophant? Is this the police or is this a judge? Who is... Or... It's an official person. Okay, so that's all we need to know. It's an official person. Yeah, it definitely is. Thief. Interesting, though, that these come out together. A thief and an official. So who's the thief? Is it the emperor or is it this mature woman? Went to this official person and lied. Told this official person that you are depressed and that you have like men mental issues is kind of what I'm getting. Like you have anxiety and depression because of a relationship. What's the hang man? The Phoenix in reverse claiming that you're not getting a new phase or you can't rekindle something. Something's not growing for you, transforming for you. Just even giving me something like your, you feel like your light is put out, like you feel so hopeless or, you know, your life is over, like you're not going to be able to have a new phase or new love. Like, why would she say that? Why is this mature woman saying all this to an emperor? Because this was her bright idea, okay? The devil in reverse to get herself freed from an attachment she didn't want to be attached to something she did not want to be attached to something here she didn't want to be implicated she did not want to be um a suspect basically she didn't want to have her hands dirty in this situation Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Yeah, that's the truth right there. Justice. There you are, Libra. There you are. Look at this here. You truth speaker, you. <laughs> Queen of Swords, Justice, and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, that's your energy right there. Standing on business, okay? Facts and truth and justice. Yeah, okay. So, why is the King of Swords here? The King of Wands.
the Four of Cups in reverse. A King of Wands, a King of Swords, releasing feelings of the past. Or a King of Swords and a King of Wands were trying to release something from the past or they were trying to um, get some sort of water under the bridge here because they might have known that you know the truth about something. You know the truth about a situation. It, yeah, Eight of Swords in reverse. They were, and this flew right on top of Thief. So these are criminals. They're liars. They're backstabbing, conniving manipulators who are trying to get themselves out of a trap. And the issue about this is that you know the truth. Not only do you know the truth, but you're someone that stands on the truth because you believe in justice and you believe in doing what's right and what's fair. So it's kind of giving me like they, them having to get themselves out of a trap means silencing you. They had to find a way to silence you before you could speak the truth. Yeah, your family, your family. Could be your family, yeah. And they did it with a King of Cups. How interesting. A King of Swords, a King of Wands, and a King of Cups thought that they would be able to get themselves out of a bind and out of a trap or out of some sort of a imprisonment by lying about your mental health. Yeah, look, it always comes back to this Ten of Pentacles. It always comes back to this money. All this money, all this money. What's the Seven of Wands? The sun, but you're defending yourself and you're shining light on everything. So you standing up for yourself and defending yourself is, um, is exposing this, the devil. It's exposing the devil. You're exposing the devil by fighting back with truth and facts. What's the Eight of Wands? The Eight of Swords in reverse, and that's why they took action, because they're trying to get themselves out of a bind and out of a trap. Four of Coins, so that they can hold on to some sort of resources and money, um, and they don't have to pay you something. Six of Coins in reverse, or they didn't give you something. Or this is what, they, this, is what this mature woman said. She said... This is what they said to get themselves out of a bind. It is that you want stability and security and you're depressed because you're not getting equal give and take and someone is not giving you something or helping you or providing for you someone is not giving you security and stability okay this they came in with some sort of communication here they might have tried to stop the truth from coming out with the sun and the devil what's the page of cups The Fool. So they took this risk. What has to do with your new beginning? Four of Swords and the Five of Wands. Some sort of conflict surrounding good news. What is the Page of Cups? Girl with the snake being charmed or used. Empath Narcissist Paradigm. No, this has to do, I feel like this has to do with your emotional maturity. They might have tried to say something about your emotional intelligence in your emotional maturity and try to make you look like you're very childlike or childish, especially when it comes to how you deal with your emotions. They might have tried to say that you're not good at like um, putting up boundaries with people or you're like an enabler or... Or, they, or that you felt used by someone here in a relationship. What's the five of wands? Love. Yeah, they said that there was a fight and competition surrounding love. 
And they came in with some sort of information here, Knight of Swords. Heart with the key about love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together, and perfect. Why is the Queen of Wands here? This was their idea, Two of Wands. So this was then their new idea to move forward with this. How to move forward um, with this narrative here. Queen of Coins Reverse. Queen of Swords. To say that you are like a gold digger or something like that. Okay. Or that you're um, financially unstable. That you have you lack finances or you're not financially responsible or you made poor financial decisions. The moon in reverse because of something being exposed. Yeah, the ace of swords because of the truth coming out. Okay. Anything else we need to know about this here? The, that's the truth <laughs> about this queen of cups. Okay, this mature woman. So I feel like it's the truth behind this person's intentions, right? And their motives. Um, yeah, for saying something about your emotional maturity, your mental health, depression, saying that you struggle with like anxiety, depression, you feel hopeless because of a relationship. What else do we need to know about this person's intentions and motives or why they said all of this? It's because they had to block something. They wanted to block the truth from coming out about this Queen of Wands in reverse. And the King of Cups. How? Explain this more to me. What happened in a home with the King of Swords? Or something with this King of Swords and a home, a happy home? Or a community? Or what a King of Swords said about a house? Or a, a union? Or something about a home? They had to block something. They had to block the truth from coming out about a Queen of Wands in reverse and a King of Swords and something that they had said about a home or a property, okay? And they, yeah, and that's when they had this idea to say that you latch on to people for security or you took action because you wanted to feel secure or you wanted to have stability I'm still miss. There's like a missing link here. It's like th this mature woman, Queen of Cups, is saying something about you being sad and depressed and feeling hopeless because your relationship is not giving you some sort of stability. Then it jumps to them trying to stop the truth from coming out. What does that have to do with this Queen of Wands and this King of Swords and something about a home or stability? Help me understand this missing link, please. The Four of Swords. She, I can't believe she just came out in reverse again. I cannot believe it. So that they don't have to say something about this Queen of Wands in reverse. They didn't want to have to say something. They Because they had communicated. They had communicated something about somebody healing their relationship or healing from heartbreak, overcoming pain and betrayal, overcoming some sort of heartbreak and pain, something they communicated here. What? Tell me more about this. Soulmate, something they communicated about a soulmate connection and what they were trying to mirror or that they were mirroring something, or they were trying to mirror you, or re reflect something. 
that wasn't real or reflect something onto you Wait, when did this mature when did this mature woman say this to the emperor? When? When? This was when they were trying to create an illusion about a competition and people competing and wanting to win at all costs. So was this before or after? No, this, this, this was part of the strategy, giving somebody money or giving something to someone. This was this, what's the six principles? Someone feeling rejected about the star. Somebody feeling rejected because of someone's new beginning and healing something. So, was this before the plot? The Seven of Wands. It was to block someone or something. Ten of Swords. It was to, to defend themselves here with this betrayal. I'm not really sure where this is in the timeline when this um, uh, when this mature woman went to this emperor to say all these things but it's definitely to block the truth from coming out it was to it was to they lied about you being financially unstable okay so she this mature woman went to the emperor and told them that you are financially unstable you are codependent you would do anything for money. Um, you're needy, okay? You rely on other people for money. You're not stable on your own. Very codependent and you're upset and sad and depressed about a relationship. And that's why there was some sort of competition. And somebody traveling somewhere or moving forward. This was part of this invest in what they were working on what they were investing into yeah this illusion that they were trying to create so that they could win at all costs which makes me feel like it was before the ace of wands the ace of cups and the ju and judgment this is about a new beginning. Claiming that there was a new beginning in love. A new beginning in love. A new relationship, a new beginning. Trying to make you look like you're emotionally unstable. And this has to do with how much truth you actually know, how much you how much you know about these people. So this is all just part of um, what the, how they were trying to discredit you. Yeah, this is something that they said in the past. This is about, this is the past and it has to do with how they were trying to get you trapped or the action that they were taking to get you trapped with a relationship because of a relationship, two of cups. Or this is maybe how they were trying to get you imprisoned because of a relationship. It has something to do with um, defaming your mental state and, and um, your credibility because of some sort of depression or sadness. And something they were saying about a relationship. Yeah, what I just say, defaming, discrediting, lying, gossiping, slandering, coming in with false information because you're not depressed and you're not anxious and you're not you're worried and you're not paranoid. You don't have paranoia. You're not suffering any paranoia. You're not suffering depression or anxiety. This is all slander. This is all slander. Yeah, that's the truth. Okay, so that seems to be important today. 
This is defamatory and it's slander and it's someone here is not depressed. Someone here is not suffering anxiety. Somebody does not have um, the emotional maturity of a child. Someone does not have low emotional intelligence. Someone is not suffering from any kind of mental illness, okay? <laughs> I guess that seems to be important today. Yeah, judgment. Your judgment is just fine. Thank you very much, okay? Your judgment calls are just fine. You're not out here making crazy judgment calls. You're not out here doing crazy things because you're depressed. No. Your judgment is just fine, okay? So, all right, Libra. I'm going to leave it at that, okay? Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Until next time. Bye.